Women in Film and Television International is a worldwide network dedicated to the advancement of professional development and achievement for women in film, video, and other screen-based media. The newest chapter hails from Mumbai. Wifty Chair Kimberly Scrime caught up with the chapter's head, filmmaker Petrina De Rosario, in Washington, D.C. Can you share with the viewers the successes that you've had so far with garnering members and the type of members that you have? Of course, being a not-for-profit and having no funding so far, it's been a little bit of an uphill, but I think women are all about heart. So once we reach out to them and we tell them this is what we want to do and we need you to support us, and if they see and when they see the, you know, the opportunity to reach out to other women like themselves who have been struggling in the industry, who have had no opportunities to you know, get to the other step, they say yes and they say, I think it's the need of the hour. Uh. I'm sure that the viewers would also like to know about women in the industry in India. The story with women in the industry is the same everywhere, be it in the East or the West. I think we all have a similar story to share and that's what has united all of us in terms of, you know, having 55 chapters globally with WIFTI, which says women in film and television says a lot. It means there's a platform where we can all reach out to each other because we are all sharing the same um, sad story, I would say. You know, we all have a sad story to say, like, you know, where are the funders? Where are the producers who can produce our independent films? How do we reach out to uh, people who, you know, without having um, a big director or a big producer? I mean, first time producers and first time directors may be very talented, but there has to be somebody to give them that opportunity. And that's where we are connecting. News here in the States had an announcement that 50% of the directors at Sundance are actually women. So I would love to hear a little bit about, and I'm sure the viewers would like to hear about female directors in India, perhaps where it has been and where it's going and if you're seeing that same trend. Oh, most definitely. I mean, where we had initially two female directors with, you know, Tanuja Chandra who started off not only doing independent films, but taking on Bollywood head on. And then with 2007, we had a big, I mean, you know, big Bollywood blockbuster with the biggest stars in the industry, again, directed by a female, Farah Khan. I mean, she was then known as the man, not a female director, because she had superstars. She uh, had box office success that was at par with the other male directors. So she was not seen as a woman director anymore. She was seen as, okay, you know, she's there to stay and to take the men on head on. So, and of course we had our lovely Kiran Rao who with Dhobi Ghat, you know. So the trend of female directors is definitely increasing. Zoya Akhtar, these are the handful of young women who have, you know, come forth and are not shying away from taking blockbuster films. So I left out yes. Reema Kargi whose film has Reema. just released. While we're talking about women filmmakers and women directors, I mean from Zoya Akhtar to Kiran Rao, Tanuja Chandra, Reema Kadgi, who has been a well-known writer in the industry on big Bollywood films, is now directing her Bollywood film with a superstar of the industry, Amir Khan, called Talash. We are seeing the trend where it's not the directing role or the director's role is not just helmed for a man. It is definitely being sweeping away. I mean, we are we are seeing a, a trend growing where you know women are taking on that role, and it's being accepted by the audience. Katrina, can you tell the viewers a little bit about what type of work you do in India? Most of us know, of course, of Bollywood, but there's a whole other <laughs> industry out there that we'd love to hear about. Well, I'm a producer on commercials, and I also work on independent documentaries as a producer and also on short films. Well, I'm glad to say that uh, my first short film was picked up by River to River, a uh, Florence Film Festival, and we got invited to do a screening and a Q&A, both the director and myself. Unfortunately, we couldn't because I chose to be a part of the WIF summit and I sent my director to uh, Florence and um, yeah so that's what I do I'm, I'm a producer thank you for joining us today if you would like to have more information about women in film and television international you can find us on the web at www.wifty.net